The history of the Southern Jalgar Prey Mantis Gong Fu dates back to the Southern Shaolin Monastery of Southern China. The name of the founder was Dao Anam. He spent many years in the Shaolin Monastery developing this system. The top Shaolin monks at that time gave Dao Anam the full cooperation to develop this system. He harnessed the hidden powers of the body through the vast range of training exercises that became unique to the Southern Prey Mantis. The form that you see here was to stimulate the gang or shock powers. Developing this inch force power, one has to undergo a training program with all the conditioning exercises that go along with this system. This exercise is called Yukio Chai Cell. Its aim is to develop the legs, arms and the trunk of the body. One such exercise, Doujong, is a two-man training that develops one's sensitivity, strength, balance and footwork. When you have gone through such exercises, then you condition your body with hitting exercises. Here is Big Boy. This is taught when your gum gong or golden bell or iron shirt cover as is known in English is developed to a sufficient standard. Gao Choi is a hand in exercises and is the first part of Ditch Sa Jern or iron palm. No system is complete without the knowledge of knowing how and where to hit and the Jalgar Prey Mantis Kung Fu teaches those vital aspects. Now let's take a look at the Sapat Yao Long form. time the sequences of Sat Ba Yong as follows. First push out the Pok Jern or palms concentrating on the breathing technique towards the Dan Tin. Then bring both palms downwards flowing with your body and pushing the palms upwards to face level. Again going back to Pok Jern
from Pop Joan we move forward with the figure eight palm on the left, then on the right. Sweep round with turning dragon, lift up the right knee, step back with horse jump. Again moving forward with figure eight palm, turn round with turning dragon, knee raise, jump back with horse jump. Turn, sizeal block, move forward, cut back, climbing dragon, move forward, cut back, climbing dragon. Turn, figure eight, turn, monkey footwork, claw. Turn with min monkey footwork and claw. Sweeping down dragon, strike, sweeping down dragon and strike. Moving forward dragon, sweeping dragon, turning dragon, back, sweeping round, cutting back, cutting forward, sweeping, keeping your elbows in on that technique, moving forward, turning dragon, pushing dragon, turn, pushing dragon, come up, claw to the face, one and two, both on the right and left, and coming back, finish off with Ginglai salute. Now let's take a look at the Sapat Yaolong form, this time from the side. Take the right stance forward and pushing up both palms. This palming technique is known as Pok Jong. Then bring both palms upwards and bring them down much further. Breathing in as you bring them down, exhaling as you push up. After so many times, then you go back to the first palm, Pok Joon, that you was doing. And then move forward to the four main palm strikes. Using a figure eight motion, using turning dragon, knee raise, jump back with horse jump, double palm strike. Again, moving forward on the left, then on the right. Then on the left side, turn round with your right leg sweeping, lift up left leg, jump back. Deflection block, strike, jump back, moving forward dragon. Deflection, strike, jump back, moving forward. From here, turn to the side, figure eight palm, turn round with monkey footwork, strike claw up, move forward with the left side moving forward, turn round with monkey footwork, strike, from there complete turn around, strike, pull down, strike, moving forward with a claw and with your left or right hand is high, turn round, claw, rolling dragon backwards and forward, jump back, absorbing dragon, from there, palm strike inside and outside. Again, rolling dragon backwards and forward. Jump back, absorbing. Palm strike in, palm strike on the outside. Moving forward, clawing up. In onto the right. Turn round, turning dragon. Double palm strike. Sweeping dragon round. Double palm strike. Claw up. Claw forward up and then forward and deflect into the side and then finally finish the looking Lai salute now let's take a look at the Sapat Yao Long this time from a 45 degree angle again with the Pok Jung concentrating on your breathing as you start the form bringing the energy into your stomach, the fresh air in and pushing out the bad air bring both your hands this time to the, your waist level push forward and then go back to the pock jung again pushing both palms up, bring back in, both palms up notice the actions with the figure eight where there are four main palm strikes 
in this particular exercise. Turning dragon, lift up the knee raise and jump back. Concentrate on the palms as you land. Moving forward again, as you can see the action with the techniques. Lift up the left leg, jump back. Again, concentrate on the palms. Deflection, strike, moving forward. Deflect, move forward, step back, move forward again with clawing dragon. To the side, again, the main four strikes of the figure eight palm, monkey footwork and turn. Again, figure eight strike, monkey footwork and strike, turning, absorbing, striking, coming back, striking, clawing, moving forward. Again, turning dragon. And then rolling dragon, coming back, and absorbing dragon. Two palms inside and outside. Rolling dragon, absorbing dragon, circle palms in and out. Move forward with claws. Turn, double palm strike. Turning round, double palm strike. Palm up, claw, palm up, and claw. And again, turn into absorb the techniques and finish with Ging Lai. This time, we can do the Sapat Yao Long form, seeing it from a different angle, which is from the rear view. Again, using Park Jung to push up and bring both hands down into the next Qigong exercise or Heigong exercise then we go into the Pok Jung again keep your elbows tucked in when doing this exercise and breathe deep to the Dantin or the navel point moving forward again you can see from the action from, the, from behind jumping back this form there is a lot of smooth movements to help you deflect and absorb or to parry and finally line the precise strike that you need moving forward and then turning to the side into monkey footwork again turn around and strike complete turn around strike moving forward with claws turn around with the left leg sweeping rolling dragon both ways again palm two palms there coming back going forward strike absorb palm stripe with the right hand from there clawing up double palm strike turning around double palm strike claw forward absorb and finish the technique Now let's see the Sapat Yaolong form again. First, the Ging Lai salute. Take the right stance. You can see the actions with the palms. Breathe in as you push out, as you bring back to your hips. Breathe in, push out. Concentrate on the, the breath going deep down into your stomach. We can see the action with the movements here. A figure eight is performed with the left and right palms. We go on to the right side. Lift up the left, sweep round first. Lift up the right knee. Jump back and strike with both palms 
again palm strikes sweep round lift up the left leg jump back this is called the horse jump found in a lot of the Jalgar Premanus weapons forms clawing forward deflection block jump back and move forward figure eight palm monkey footwork turn around completely the whole purpose of this form is to avoid the strengths of your opponent so you yourself don't have to use too much strength in fighting until you land a precise blow where you can unleash one of the 12 main palm strikes in the form the whole purpose behind this form is to absorb and learn to divert or avoid the opponent's oncoming force double palm strike turning round double palm strike forward of the claw and claw again stepping back and the ging lai salute and finish first the ging lai salute once more we're going to see this form it can be done at any speed but once you get used to the techniques and obviously try to do it with speed at the same time try to do it with relaxed energy this kind of energy is hard to explain but when one has achieved the energy then one will feel that the techniques automatically have the power so first go into your breathing exercises which is in the beginning part of the form seen here pock journey and then move into all the different aspects that Sutbat Yaolong offers pay attention in detail to all the different types of footwork that are used in the particular form and the beauty of this form is is to divert absorb avoid your opponent's strength the techniques in this form are of the monkey techniques and obviously the twelve dragon palms each technique has a different application to the opponent's vital areas which will be explained in a part two video of Sapat Yao Long. And from there, turning round and the Ging Lai salute to finish. Now let's see a breakdown of the form. First, we're going to start with Pok Jung palming up, breathing deep to the dantian, then bring both palms downwards towards your hip level and then push forward both palms up to the face level and again back to the pock jung. Pay attention when moving forward notice the application of the the hand techniques the way they're moving in the figure eight. Finally palm again let's see that once more both palms coming up to face level then into Pok Jung the first and third technique of the brief breathing exercise moving forward one on the right on the left and we can see the figure eight involved in those palm strikes and then from there going forward again we can practice these as many times and then come into turning dragon as you turn round make sure you understand that it's opposite hand to opposite leg turning round knee raise jump back with horse jump see that again so from there turning round knee raise jump back knee raise jump back again 
circle again with the palm strikes jump back this time on the left side going into your right stance so you're on the left stance moving forward turning knee raise with the left leg jump back from here the action is to deflect move forward jump back three claws forward and again deflect strike jump back three claws forward same again jump back one two three this is done on both sides deflect jump back three four three claws forward again deflect with the right hand move forward jump back three claws forward from here we turn to the right side claw up palm strike turn and into the monkey footwork we strike again we can see that again turn and strike again we can see from that last position claw up figure eight palm turn and strike let's see that again strike turn round using the monkey footwork from there we complete the uh, uh, 360 degree turn and strike in again 360 degree turn and strike in moving forward pay attention to the claws coming one coming forward one coming back again we can see from there sweep round roll your hands back and forth absorbing dragon palm one and two again we can see that roll back roll forward come back absorbing palm one palm two the same action is done also on the left side move forward one two three four again see those group of actions again one two three four turn round again with turning dragon clawing up double palm sweep round double palm sweep up and finish with the claw again we can sweep round turn again double palm claw and claw and coming back now let's see the form this time inside the corn in London try to follow the form carefully as in the sequence presented in the video
Now let's see the form again, this time from the front. Again, start off in the right stance and follow the form carefully as in the sequence in the video. So you've seen the stunt bike go along for waiting to meet dragons. Now I'm going to demonstrate the individual aspects of stunt bike go along. I'm going to show you nine different exercises that are used in stunt bike go along, waiting to meet dragons. These techniques are also found in the form itself. First, we need to make ourselves very fluid so we can absorb and divert attacks to our body. So the first exercise is done with your stance. Place your hands in your waist and turn. One, two, like this. Continuously turning. Your weight comes on the back leg, turn, place it on your left, and then transfer it to your right. And this is a continuous motion. First, weight on one leg, transfer it on the other. The second exercise is done, weight comes on the back, turn and push it forward on the front, like this. Instead of completely turning, you turn here, come back, push forward. Come back, turn your waist, push forward.
Same goes for the right stars. The next exercise is with the hands. Each hand comes over the top of the other. And obviously the other way. Go in the left or right stance and do the same thing. First, maybe in a straight line, just coming back and forth. Then learn to change. These are the first two sub-algorithm techniques. We call these number one and two. They are done with the palm. And in this video, and when I'm ending part two, we're going to show you the application of all these techniques using the dim mark points and the secret parts of the sub-like algorithm. The next sub-like algorithm, which we call Frame 4, is to absorb an attack. Again, I will show you all the applications, but we need to pay attention to the elbows in this particular um, Sapayama. Your first defense is your wrist, the second defense is your elbow. From here, I start with the left stance. This technique comes in, and then you change. In, change. And this continuously like this. We 
you go into the right stance, as you can see from an angle, absorb, absorb, push back. And moving forward. The next technique, which we call five and six, is to turn the wrist from palm. These palms are of the 12 different palm strikes found in the 18 swimming dragons. Again, we take the right or left arms, we circle like this, hinge out and palm. Circle outwards, palm. Inside, palm. Outside, palm. We're going to play with the waist as well. Turn the waist and palm. And outside. Now when we do the inside, the waist comes back on itself and you suddenly send the energy up through the waist to here. On the outside, again, it's the same direction. Comes back on itself, palm. Comes back, palm. The next technique, again using the palms of Sapidolo, is one of the most deadliest palm strikes that we have in Sapidolo. And this again will be shown how to use this on application number two, Sapidolo 2. But to practice this, first this hand come down. One, two, three. One, two, three. First, you're going to stand with the shoulder width stance to get the action of the movement.
next technique is we call number eight, and we're going to go flow into number nine on this one. Number eight, we can start in the right by left stance. This hand come down and strike. This hand come up, this one down. Number nine is the monkey footwork. Monkey footwork is crafty. So therefore, Sapayo Long attains crafty techniques, absorbing, diverting, and the monkey footwork is. Watch carefully the footwork. So here. The footwork is one, two, Three, four, using the palm strikes. One, two, three, four. And then we can flow in the technique we just done, which is in the form. Using monkey for work, strike. From the front, monkey for work. So this one comes across one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. From here. So we have, moving forward, these techniques here. In the form, that flows from here to here. This technique, number seven, come round. Number nine. Number nine. From here, we can use the same technique. One, draw it. Come round. Finish off with number nine. These techniques fit together.
Now we'll try to follow the form again with the sequences once more. Pay attention to all the details given in the form, especially on the figure eight movements. Here we can see the jumping back performed. There's a lot of footwork involved. Follow these. Try to practice this form at least three times a day to get the smoothness that's required for the diversion of power and to absorb or to divert the opponent's strength or oncoming force. This is the Sapat Yao Long form. One should follow it closely and practice these movements daily.